Good morning, everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So Isaac is back at school. Praise God. He's a little groggy from the new meds, but overall he's um, hanging in there. Um, I just want to jump straight into praying and I'm hoping that I can um, share a little bit more um, YouTube prayer time. It's, it's really, it blesses me that it's a sweet aroma, a fragrance and an incense to God and it encourages you and it encourages me. Um, I just have been not having any energy, very fatigued and just in full on caring for Isaac mode. But as he's at school right now, I could um, pop in and just pray real quick. So thank you all for your love and prayers for Isaac. Heavenly Father, I just want to give you thanks for this beautiful um, crystal clear blue sky day, Lord. It's Monday. Father, I thank you that Chuck and Olivia and Isaac are back to school and work. They're back to their rhythms, Father. Um, sometimes when we've been through hardships, getting back to a little bit of normalcy helps. Um, Isaac was a little bit off. He was excited about going to school, but once the van came, he was a little bit off. So please, would you just settle him and soothe him? God, you are God. You are our rock, our Father who is in heaven. Holy is your name, God. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. O oh Lord Jesus, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, God. Please protect us from the evil one. For yours, God, is the kingdom. Yours, Lord Jesus, is the glory. Yours, Holy Spirit, is the power forever and ever and ever, Lord. We give you glory. We give you praise. What can wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What could make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, how precious is the flow that makes us white as snow, Lord. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for that by your stripes we're healed, God. Thank you that the scripture says, oh, death, where is your sting? And we do feel it, Lord, when a friend of ours gets divorced, when somebody dies, when we see someone with a disability suffering, when we see people on drugs or addicts or having to have life you know changing life altering surgeries god when people are um lame mute um mentally ill disabled diseased afflicted in some way shape or form god we we say oh death where's your sting lord god in this world there's a lots of stings i sting all over my body i still sting in my mind i sting in my soul but lord it's just a temporary sting lord you took out that that permanent sting of death and we get eternal life with you we get abundant life here lord as i was in the elevator and i talked to that woman susan on the fifth floor of neurology at chalk hospital i had my bag lord as you saw it said it said ask me about jesus and she said i like your bag and i told her i don't know how people here do it without jesus and she said me either and lord that is my prayer and that is my confession i can't nor do i want to try to navigate this life without you jesus you can have all this world just give me jesus create in all of us a clean heart oh god and renew a right spirit within us father when we're going through pain when we're going through struggles or maybe even when we're going through good in life and everything is shiny and beautiful and, and and wonderful um sometimes we feel like we can't pray i've been feeling like that a lot lately so lord i pray that you would remove any barriers to our prayers that they would be a sweet aroma unto you that you would purify our prayers purify our hearts purify us the prayer we are your children your mijos and your mijas we are part of the body of christ we are part of a blood-bought family jesus thank you thank you for all that you've done thank you jesus that you live to make intercession for us thank you god for the holy ghost thank you god for your word that is a truly is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path that your word is so timely lord we're down we're feeling blue we open your word the scriptures we read a psalm and immediately our soul is uplifted or you speak a word over us i can't even count how many times in the middle of the night i couldn't sleep and i could hear a song a, a scripture that you were encouraging me with a verse or even a single word like i'm your shepherd lord you are our good shepherd you lay down your life for the sheep and father uh, my family the gonzalez family and isaac we're not the only ones going through things father so i just pray for each and every person right now praying with me wherever they're at if they're in modesto if they're in eastville if they're in covina if they're in utah idaho texas 
all of my precious friends and family. We pray together, Montclair, Ontario. Bless them and keep them. Shine your face upon them. Lift up your countenance upon them and bring them peace. Jesus, you are our shalom. And we want to ask you to renew our sense of peace, to renew our joy, to renew our hope that you have conquered the grave. And so whatever trials, whatever challenges, whatever things we go through in our day-to-day -day life, we are more than conquerors in you, Lord. My precious daughter, Olivia Grace, is starting back to school, and this is her senior year. She'll be graduating, God. It's a miracle. I just, I can't believe it, Lord. I remember when I was told I was pregnant. I remember those flutters in my belly. I remember when she was born, when she was a toddler, when she started dance. I just remember so many things about my little girl and now she's a young woman a beautiful young woman i just pray that you would bless her senior year and um continue to be with her guiding her footsteps and i just pray again for each and every person right now praying with me that you would bless them that you would meet their needs in a supernatural way god we give this day to you we give this second to you this moment this minute this year our entire lives are yours we surrender our lives to you your kingdom come your will be done no more seizures for isaac lord no more dizzy spells for christiana or for um Yoon. And I do pray for little Capri, my friend Denise Dominguez's granddaughter who has spina bifida. She just had surgery. She's only 10 months old. Would you just please touch her body? Help her, Lord. She can't turn over. She has to stay on her belly flat and how difficult that must be. So please, please be with her mama, Rochelle. Be with me and these precious moms in prayer at Ontario Christian School. And we just confess our absolute desperate need for you. In Jesus' name, amen.